Hello and welcome to this information literacy video provided by City of Glasgow College Libraries. We're going to be looking into the CRAAP test, which is an acronym used to evaluate sources. When you're conducting research, it's really important that you evaluate the reliability of any sources you find before you decide whether or not to use them. The CRAAP test can help with this, as the acronym CRAAP stands for Currency, Relevance, Authority, Accuracy and Purpose. Currency refers to the timeliness of the information. When was it published? And is it up to date now? Relevance references the importance of the information for your needs. Does it relate to your topic? Authority means the source of the information. Who is the author or publisher and are they a trustworthy source for the topic? Accuracy is the reliability and correctness of the information. Is the information supported by evidence and backed up by other sources? Purpose refers to the reason the information exists. Has it been produced for information's sake or to influence or sell something? So how does this work in practice? Let's say, for example, that we want to find information about acupuncture and the treatment of osteoarthritis for an essay. Typing these two keywords, acupuncture and osteoarthritis, into Google generates almost 3 million results. With so many sources to choose from, it's vital that you make sure that you're using sources that are up to date, accurate and relevant. Let's look at one of the more promising results, the website for the British Acupuncture Council. How does this website do in terms of the CRAAP test? Currency. In the Google search results, we see that the relevant link is dated from February 2015, and this information is corroborated at the bottom of the page as being updated then, so the information is just under six years old. Relevance. We can see from the name of the organisation, British Acupuncture Council, and the fact sheet they've provided pertaining to osteoarthritis, that this source is definitely relevant to the topic at hand. Authority. On their website, we can see that the British Acupuncture Council is a member of the accredited register, which is backed by the government. A quick search also shows that the BAC is referenced by Cancer Research UK as being reliable and having high standards. Accuracy. The information presented on the website is research-based, and to prove this, reference sources are given on the same page as the information, with an additional evidence tab that goes into detail about each specific source. These aspects show that this website is highly accurate. Purpose. The first thing I noticed about the website is that the address has .org rather than .co or .com and a .org email address is usually used by non-profit groups, so right off the bat you can see that this website most likely isn't set up to try and influence you into buying something. The website's What We Do page informs website users of the BAC's purpose, emphasising that this information is being provided to facilitate acupuncture practices in the UK. Overall, we can see that the BAC website passes all of the criteria of the CRAAP test, deeming it a useful source and not a CRAAP one. Hopefully this video has helped show you how you can use the CRAAP test to evaluate your sources when you're researching for your college work. If you have any further questions, please get in contact with us at library at cityofglasgowcollege.ac.uk.